booktube my name is elizabeth and welcome to book babble today i'm going to be doing my tuesday talks video today's tuesday talks discussion is what do you feel about pseudonyms um if you guys are interested in joining and participating in tuesday talks i will link the goodreads group down below along with the two creators Janie and janelle so <sighs> pseudonyms i really don't have much of an opinion on pseudonyms they don't bother me um, and I don't, like, seek out authors who use pseudonyms or anything like that. The only really big piece of information that I can, like, discuss that I have an opinion on is authors, usually big authors, that use pseudonyms and then, like, put their name underneath their pseudonym. Like, um, Nora Roberts does this a lot. Nora Roberts, if you don't know, is a really, really popular adult romance author. I mean, she comes out with like five bajillion books a year. It's crazy. But she also writes a mystery um, thriller type series under the pseudonym J.D. Robb, which I'm fine with. But almost all of her J.D. Robb books have also known as Nora Roberts or Nora Roberts or something like that. So, like, what's the point of writing under a pseudonym for a different genre if you're just going to put your real name on there? Like, I asked, I think I asked my old boss, who I worked at the used bookstore um, at that point in time, um, I asked her, I was like, why the heck would they do that? It doesn't make any sense. And she's like, to separate, to note, to let people know that she's, this is thriller and not romance. And I'm like, I don't know. If you read the description, you can know that it's not romance, or, you know, I mean, anyone who, like, reads a decent amount knows what genre they're looking for, and anyone who's a fan of Nora Roberts even a little bit knows that she writes, that she also writes in, um, mystery thriller type, you know, she's got a series in that too, so it just doesn't make any sense to me, like, you know, if you want to put your name on there to sell books, why not just use your real name as the author and not a pseudonym? And I know, I think there's a couple other really big authors that do this as well. Um, I know Stephen King does it too. Um, I can't remember his pseudonym that he does for some um, of his horror stuff, but I know he does it and I hardly ever see his name, you know, so-and-so as Stephen King. But if it is on there, it's in like really small type. Like J.D. Robb Nora Roberts is like J.D. Robb in little type, also known as Nora Roberts in big type. So it's like you see, it's like they're co-authors or something. And I just don't understand why you would need to do that sort of thing if you know that you're going to, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't get it. So that's really the only thing I have against pseudonyms. Um, there's a couple of pseudonyms that I really, really like, like pseudonym pseudonymous Bosch writes a middle grade young adult series um, called This Book is Secret or something like that, and I haven't read it yet, but the description is amazing. It's very um, reminiscent of, like, Lemony Snicket type writing, and it's just so, I, I just think that name is really, really good. Like, I don't even know his real name. That's how good. I think he writes some adult stuff. I'm not sure, but anyway, um, that's all I really have to say about the whole pseudonym conversation. Um, if you guys would like to participate in Tuesday Talks, please, please, please do. Again, the Goodreads group is down below, or you can discuss with me this topic in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!